Hi my joys, it's Cassandra the Joyful Artist and I'm coming to you today on the 1st of April and we are no fools, or are we? Because actually, um, <laughs> um, because actually, I was just reading a message because a couple of two lovely ladies have just contacted me to come along to my six week uh, art course, art classes, that's going to be starting after Easter, so I'm super excited about that, I've got six lovely, lovely ladies that are coming along, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun, I just have so much, um, have so much fun in the, um, well, one of the ladies called it a portal in here, and I was listening to some astrology readings last night during uh, the night, and it was all around how it's so significant that Saturn has moved into Pisces, and to look up where Pisces is in your astrological chart, so those of you that have been following me for a while now will know I like to find inspiration all sorts of places, and... Um, Linda, Linda, I still, hello Linda, I love seeing your posts on social media and I would love to know if you are painting, so do feel free to comment um, or reach out to me. I hope you're painting, I was thinking of you the other day, this whole action painting, um, I think you might really love the work of, um, of uh, Joan Mitchell, who I'm really loving at the moment and really inspired by. But yeah, so, so Saturn has gone into Pisces, and if you look up where Pisces is in your chart, it can tell you, will give you guidance about um, where best to show up, um, where best to put the energy, where best Saturn is, if you like, the taskmaster. Um, I mean, I'm a novice astrologer, you'll get better guidance from other people, but, but I'm just relaying what I've learned. And it's very much about um, being structured and disciplined in a good way, like a disciple of, like in a good way. And of course, Pisces is the realm of the mystic, um, the spiritual realm, the um, deeply um, beautiful sort of watery, feminine, fluid energies. So Saturn and Pisces in my chart is actually in the seventh house, which is around creativity and connection and um, Laurie was saying to me that um, this is like my church the gallery is like my church it's my cathedral it's where I come to pray seek guidance meditate all those things I do through my work put spiritual energy into my paintings I made a commitment during the whole um, COVID thing to show up for joy to show up for love and it's really fortified me and kept me sane. And it's sort of, um, I guess you could say, it's been my therapist. Uh, painting has been my therapist. So sometimes like Joan Mitchell, it's why Linda, I think you'll love Joan Mitchell because she had a lot of anger and rage and um, she found that painting was akin to therapy for her too. She had many years of therapy, but she found that that was such a cathartic release. And it wasn't that she wanted to create angry paintings per se. She would she would get her energy out, express her emotions, and then she would create something beautiful. I think she's on record for saying she's not of the school of ugly paintings. So I was just going to share a quick live. I'm having my opening of my exhibition called Dancing in Fields of Flowers, which is also a little book that I've just written, which I'm going to send to a a new publishing house that's just popped up here in New Zealand. So I'll see what they say about that first. It's kind of part by uh, autobiographical, but also then um, spiritual sort of storytelling about um, a little girl who's was, everyone wanted her to be someone else. And she ultimately uh, followed her heart and became an artist. So it's dancing in fields of flowers in part inspired by Helen Frankenthaler's little story which is called Dancing, I think it's Dancing in Fields of Colour, something like that. So I'm showing up today, it's the exhibition, but it's a bit of a rainy, bleak day, and maybe nobody will show up, but Linda, you showed up, and other people will be watching this after. Two people have enrolled in my um, in-person art class, which is really cool, and I'm having an art in-person three-day retreat in June. So I wanted just to talk about, um, or just encourage you to show up, just have a play date, just come and do something for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or longer. 
the fact is inspiration, which is to be in spirit, has to find you working. And by that I mean showing up for it. You may not feel like doing anything. You may not feel joyful. You may not feel creative. You may feel blocked. But if you show up, it's amazing how then Isabel Allende, the Chilean author, would say the muse will show up too. So I've come down to the studio. I thought I'm still putting my signs out. I'm still saying I'm open. I'll just spin you around. You can see it's autumn, I think, here now. And we've had a really miserable cyclone, flooded, horrible summer. So it's a bit of a short summer for us. But this is what the weather's like today. So it's a bit grey and a bit blah, and but if you look, the light is incredible. The light is incredible, and that's what a lot of spiritual teachers are saying. There's a lot of light on the planet at the moment, and we're all going through quite a sort of a cosmic uplift. So this painting here, what I did is I thought, well, I can come down and I can just do a few things today, and even if nobody comes, I'm here and I'm giving my paintings some love. And this one here has got a few little gold leaf, little spots in it. And uh, it's inspired by some flowers that a lovely Texan man, a Texan man gave to me. And hey, Hannah Joy. He came into the, came to visit the house and he gifted me a bunch of flowers. You may remember I mentioned the story before. He came with his mother-in-law. Um, they were interested in potentially purchasing our property and they still are. We're not on the market, but um, we believe in flow. So if they decide in June when they're ready to purchase, that may or may not be something that we look at. Um, and they gifted me a bunch of flowers to say thank you for making their little children who were like six and seven um, feel so special. And so one of the paintings inspired by this bunch of flowers I called Feeling Special. And I just sent that off to an art exhibition or an art award, uh, which is in Harawa, Taranaki, where my mum grew up in that region. Um, so I thought that was kind of quite aligned. So I sent that one away, and then I've got these other two, and they're in a really peaceful vibe. I don't, I'm often painting really bright, bright colours. I love the peaceful vibe of this one, and this is the sister piece. So, um, yeah, that's the sister piece, looking up at it closely. This one I have named, I was listening, was it Jack Johnson? And it's called Better When We're Together. And it may well be that these become a diptych, meaning um, I painted them so that they could, see if I can get them both in, Better When We're Together. <laughs> so they were, I reckon they would look really cool. Um, in the bedroom, really restful and peaceful and just gorgeous. So that one's called Better When We're Together and I have to think of a name for that in case they're sold um, separately. But I, I love that. I wouldn't even mind creating a third piece. Um, I'm quite inspired. Joan Mitchell painted in sort of triptychs, three, and, and none of them was, I believe they weren't sold separately. She just painted them like that in a series. And so what I've been doing is painting the sides. I like to keep, some people like dark sides, but I've been, when I'm painting, I normally have them taped um, so that it doesn't get all yucky and mucky. And then I have been getting the backs ready, putting um, them ready to hang. So that's what I've been doing here in the gallery today. So it's just a short live. Do let me know if there's something you want me to talk about or share, um, something you're struggling with, something that you'd love some help with. Just, um, but I do encourage you just to show up for a play date. Um, just come down and do something like I did the other day. I thought I'll use up some of the colours, and I just did a tiny little painting, and I put it in a little. It's on a little piece of watercolour paper. I found a little frame from could be the op shop or something, and um, just did you know a short painting. I'm very much inspired by children, like. Um, the dear soul who brought me this painting that she made and um, it is called A Pink Unicorn Jumps Over a Rainbow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love the way she's put little 
stones in it so I started to do a few little crystal paintings and put crystals in mine so children are so inspiring to me and to my art and of course many of you will remember this tiny painting that my grandmother Molly made whoops upside down and my grandfather Reg Fairweather he made the frame and I've just discovered lately and Hannah you might want to look into this there's a very um, famous Scottish artist by the last name of Fairweather, so I don't know if we were related, but that would, I mean, it's not, wouldn't seem to be a very common name. So I'm gonna have a good look at that. I always thought I got my art from my grandmother, which I did, she taught me to paint, but maybe there's that lineage on my grandfather's side who used to make amazing furniture called Reg, he's called Reginald Fairweather. Um, I can't recall what the first name is of the Scottish artist Fairweather. So, um, yeah, that's, a little, just a little message. Why don't I do a little shuffle from the Art of Life Inspiration Deck to leave you with something uplifting today um, to encourage you. Lucky you, Leila. I keep calling you Linda, naughty me. Leila, Leila, Leila. Just to um, inspire us all. You're going into spring. We're going into autumn or fall. Here is the card, and it is... Got to put my glasses on. Yeah, love that. Give happiness and joy to others. Uplifting others boosts your happiness too. Isn't that perfect? So go on, go on and give happiness and joy to others and that will boost your happiness too. I know, Hannah, you've been doing a coaching session. Uh, Leela, I'd love to know what you've been up to. I really would. Um, we do think of you, Carol, and all the crew from the Love, Love, Love course. We definitely are thinking of you all the time. Anyway, much love to you. Let me know if uh, something I can help you with, inspire, encourage. And comment below what, what did you take away from this video that might be helpful to you. All right, thanks for watching. Love you to bits. Bye.